Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. So I had an oil leak. Yeah, where it was leaking was I kept thinking it was my main seal. I actually got some what is it? Stop leak. Uh, this stuff here. I poured a little bit in here. I got over at Napa's just a little bit because I didn't want to overdose it. Um, didn't didn't solve the problem. And I kind of knew that I had a leak somewhere. And what I found where it was was right there. Is where that oil filter housing bolts on the uh, the block. And I tried to find that gasket. This is uh, in Isuzu, and uh, it apparently interchanges with some of the S10, the Chevy GM S10 parts. Um, I called uh, the Chevy dealer and asked them about it. They wanted my VIN number. I called the uh, O'Reilly's um, AutoZone, and they didn't show any reference to this gasket. The Chilton manual doesn't show any reference to this gasket as well. So what I did basically was I got some gasket material. I got this gasket material from uh, I got it from O'Reilly. It was like 17 bucks for that. It's it's fairly thick. Um, this is almost like exhaust gas exhaust manifold gasket material. And then I went over to Ace and I got this thinner material for seven bucks. I got a whole bunch of it for seven bucks right there. And basically, I just cut the gasket. I pulled this off. Now, I was a little hesitant to pull that off because I thought, well, looks like it's got some pressure relief valve in there, something. Uh, maybe there's some springs in there. It's going to pop out. No. Nope. Uh, there wasn't any springs, and it's basically uh, just a housing. And so, basically, uh, I was able to pull it off and measure and cut the gasket from this material. And actually, I made two of them. I tried to make another one here. It was a little bit small, so I just uh, made another one and did it that way. And so far, it's holding pretty good. Um, of course, I got it nice and clean. I took uh, my scraper and scraped the edge with, uh, scraped all the edges. Used, let's see, I used brake cleaner and I used lacquer thinner to clean the surfaces real good. And so that's how I fixed that oil leak right there. It was kind of a mystery oil leak at first. I tried to tighten the oil filter down. I couldn't see exactly where it was leaking. And it was just leaking actually right there where that bolt is almost on this front side. What I think is over the course of about 20 years, that heating and cooling just cracked that gasket in there. Um, and so now what I've got, I've got a problem with my brakes. So my brakes basically the other day I checked my brakes uh, brakes were low on fluid so um, normally it doesn't use fluid but it was like dangerously low I could feel my pedal was kind of soft and so basically what a friend of mine told me because I looked at all my wheel cylinders usually if you look at your wheel cylinders and you see goop coming out of them then you got problems um, I looked at all my wheel cylinders from the underneath the car here and I didn't see any leaks and so a friend of mine told me, well, what happens is inside here, these things will actually leak back into the vacuum assist and cause problems. And you don't see the leak. They leak inside here. And once they leak inside here, basically this is there's a rubber diaphragm in here that doesn't last too long if these uh, go into the vacuum assist. And what he told me is he told me to take this off and run a line down in here to make sure that uh, and try and siphon out any fluid that fell in there and he also advised me not to get a rebuilt or remanufactured uh, brake cylinder uh, which I ordered um, ordered on eBay it was like 50 bucks something like that total 45 plus tax and shipping uh, shipping was free so 45 ta and tax it was like 48 bucks something like that so I got a new one of these I'll be putting that on and then normally you could tell if this thing is leaked back into your vacuum assist if you pull this off and you see the <clears throat> telltale uh, liquid uh, on the back side of the uh, master cylinder so that's my uh, that's my uh, tech tip for today and uh, and then just to let you know I did get a new smog pump and it 
brought the performance up quite a bit. I was actually really surprised because somebody told me that uh, the smog pumps don't really do much and actually it ran quite a bit better after I put that on. So, um, and that uh, smog pump was about 75 bucks and uh, so I'm just trying to keep this thing uh, moving along down the road of course and then I had to replace that alternator I replaced that alternator that's the first alternator it's uh, been in this thing so I, it's pretty good track record for 1991 and knock wood I have <clears throat> this is a 2.3 motor and let's see I've got the same starter in this it's a, apparently I'm, I'm not sure if it's the original starter or not but I've owned this truck for probably 15 years starter's never been a problem um, I thought I needed a fuel pump one time I let the rig set for uh, uh, probably four or five months and then for some reason it lost the pressure so I had to uh, try and figure out what was going on I guess the fuel pump lost its prime I think I used some starter fluid and pulled it back up and it's got it's being being good now uh, I have put a timing belt um, on this that's of course a fairly new head and that water pump is fairly new actually I haven't checked it for a while but it's pretty good 